Don't brush this aside if you have an Intel inside. All jokes aside, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of the issues with the Intel CPUs recently, specifically desktop CPUs and the 13th and 14th gen version of the CPUs, having issues with instability, crashing, degradation of performance, and even permanent damage to the CPUs and systems, all because of some elevated over voltage issues that were sort of happening on the CPUs that took Intel up to two years to officially confirm that these things have been going on, even though people independently have been telling them that these issues have been going on. And there are some fixes and are some support things that you can do to kind of help with this. And we're gonna talk about it in this video. But the first thing you need to know is if, are you even affected? Is your CPU possibly affected by this? We're gonna go over all the ways to figure this out. Go ahead into your system, go ahead and hit start, then go into the search box, type in about to bring up about this PC. This will bring up a general information page about your system and some of the specs here. Now I have an AMD system, so I'm obviously not affected by this. I just wanna use this as sort of an example. You'll see the same thing where it says AMD, you'll see Intel right there if you're an Intel CPU. Now what you wanna pay attention to is the five digit number that comes after all the other things like Intel Core i7 or Intel Core i9, whatever it says there. You wanna pay attention to that five digit number. If it's less than five digits, you're most likely not affected by this. You can kind of move on and be safe. If you do have a five digit number and it is 13 or 14 as the first two digits in that number, then you are affected by this issue and could possibly have these problems if you're not having all these problems already. Now, there is a second way to do this, which actually gives you some more information, which could be useful a little bit later, depending upon what PC you have. And that is using the app CPU-Z. It's a pretty cool app, and you do need administrative privileges to be able to run this app. I'll leave a link in the description below to download it. But when you run this, it's basically gonna scan and look at your system and figure out all the hardware that it has on and present to you in a nice little UI pop-up here. It not only gives you information about your CPU and much more details about it, it also gives you information about your main board. It gives you information about your GPU, memory, all sorts of other things. It's a pretty cool little tool. Now, speaking of tool, if you see the toolbox there and you hit the arrow next to it, you'll see the option that gives you the ability to save this as a text file or an HTML file. This is really useful to be able to send this information to somebody else and maybe a bit more tech savvy to you to kind of understand what your system has if you are concerned about that. It's a really useful little file. Now, if you do have a 13th or 14th gen CPU that is affected by this, there is microcode that has been sent out by Intel in form of a BIOS update that's supposed to kind of help mitigate this issue. Now, if you do have a CPU that's pre-built, let's say it has a Dell, HP, Acer, Lenovo logo on it, you're gonna to wanna to go to that manufacturer's page, look up the model number there to see if the BIOS update is available. And if it is, follow the instructions exactly as they say into doing this BIOS update. I would also recommend beforehand to back up any important data that you need because there are instances where a BIOS update may not work right or something that may happen to it and this could kind of brick the motherboard and you no longer can use it. You're gonna have to get the entire thing replaced and you might lose your data. So you wanna make sure to have all your important data backed up. If you have a custom system that was built by you or a friend, this is where the information from CPU-Z really comes in handy because you're gonna need your main board or motherboard information to look up that manufacturer and go to that page to pull off the BIOS updates that you're gonna to need to be able to update this. And the same rules apply as before. You wanna make sure to follow exactly what they say in terms of doing the update to the T Back up all important data beforehand just in case anything sort of happens in between that. Now, I'll also be prepared for there may be more updates that are needed coming down the line to kind of help mitigate this issue if this first one doesn't work. You might have to go through this process a few times, but it may not also work for you. Your CPU might already be at that damaged point where all these sort of instability crashing and sort of issues are sort of happening. If that's still happening, this BIOS update didn't help with anything with that. Intel has extended the warranties on these 13th and 14th gen CPUs for up to two years. And basically, if you have a pre-built machine, you're gonna to wanna to reach out to the manufacturers, so like Dell, HP, Lenovo, like before, reach out to them. They can work with you on the warranty information and stuff like that. If you buy from a store like Best Buy or something like, like a retailer, you might have to work with them first and they will work with the manufacturer in terms of the warranty. So you wanna make sure to kind of go in those routes in terms of getting any sort of warranty support for the system. All right, this is me during the edit. I kind of noticed I misspoke at this endpoint right here, but if you have a custom built PC, you're going to want to reach out to Intel and work with them directly in terms of any warranty support that's going to be for your processor if this issue affects you. Now, I will leave all relevant links in the description below. And also, I'll try to post updates. If it doesn't warrant a full video, I'll try to put that into the 
description or into the comment section. I'll try to do that there. Also, please let me know if this has worked out for you, what your results have been. Post those in the comments as well too and post updates as well. It'll help everybody out here. So hopefully this video helps you guys kind of help mitigate this issue. Thanks for watching.